How freaking cute are they? I thought I would update you on what I'm currently reading. We went to and other stories. Oh my god, I am literally in love. Look at this card. Good morning and welcome to a brand new vlog. I've literally just put my mascara on so my eyes are just, they're wide open. I don't like blink too much because I'm the worst for transferring mascara. I have misplaced my tripod so when I put you down, this is what it, this is what it looks like. But welcome to a brand new vlog. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing well. I said that I would vlog over the next couple of days just because I feel like we need to catch up and oh my gosh that would be such a good vlogging spot that's good um you're currently resting on a candle thought i would vlog today um i've actually ended up having a pretty chilled pretty chilled day um sorry i'm just making sure you can't see my moon cup there yesterday was my 24th birthday which is crazy i feel like i've vlogged a fair few birthdays on youtube i specifically remember like vlogging my 21st like actually vlogging on the day um or at least the week and now i'm 24 which is three years later which is crazy i am in the midst of getting ready for my nail appointment which is <laughs> i thought that it was at 11 o'clock so i was like oh i'm not gonna rush waking up and stuff anyway it's actually at half past nine so now i'm panicking um and getting ready with a minimal outfit on this is my my current outfit is shorts and a t-shirt so yeah i'm just getting all of my jewelry which i'll bob on i'm um, just thinking what perfume i'm gonna put replica bubble bath on i've started putting perfume in my hair is that normal probably not but yeah welcome back to the vlogs nice to you nice to have you watching so i've just been for my nails doing how freaking cute are they little little oranges i am literally in love i also think they go nice with the gold uh gold jewelry very very happy with those i i've got my sunnies on it is so hot honestly this car is it's a black car so it's just even warmer than the average car i always send alex a picture of uh my nails and he's just put bloody lovely i'm literally obsessed with these nails i was saying this when i was getting my nails done i feel like this is probably my last summer reset because the next time I go will be almost September and September to me is just like when we'll get the burnt oranges out, the car keys, the burgundies, do you know what I mean? Like it's going to be autumnal colours so this is like my last summer set so I was like I want to do something super summery so that then I just like have all the summer designs out of my system. I think they're pretty, pretty summery. Cute oranges. Anyway, right I'm going to turn the car on and i'm gonna listen to paolo natini's new album which is so 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 good i am literally obsessed i love through the echoes if you've listened to his new album like me and you love it then you'll probably like through the echoes as well oh it's so nice being off work during the week you know i'm literally well i've never usually book a day off during the week um but i had yesterday off because it was my birthday and i've got today off so it's just oh it's just so bloody lovely feeling very very lucky let's go <sighs> we just got back from a very sunny Leeds city center i mean yeah did a little bit of a little bit of shopping some damage has been has been done to the old bank account i'm absolutely boiling it honestly i'm so warm i think i'm gonna have a glass of water set my camera up and catch up with you guys and i also i mean now we're here we may as well have a little haul we went to and other stories and i got these sunnies i love them i love and other stories for sunglasses i just think they're the best they also come with a little little complimentary bag which is so so good i'm actually going to the late district on thursday in a couple of days so trying to get some bits for that you know i also picked up this this is for the how oh my god i've not actually told you so i need to give you some life updates i don't want to jinx it you know i don't want to put my foot in it but we have had an offer accepted on a house I'm very excited i won't go into too much detail this has been in the past couple of weeks not like mentioned it on instagram the first house that we got like when we got our offer accepted i was literally like well, I didn't go into detail on Instagram, but I put a little like house emoji and everything on there and I made it quite obvious. Whereas this time, 
I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not jinxing it. So yeah, I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to get too excited because of last time. But yeah, we have had an offer accepted. So fingers crossed, it seems to be going okay so far. Obviously we don't know what's going to happen and it might fall through like last time, but we have found one. So I am obviously I'm doing a bit of house shopping. I think it's my birthday. Usually people get me like standard perfume, girly bits which I did get a bit of to be fair but it was kind of like half my usual girly stuff and then the other half was like vouchers for home shops so I got a few like I got an M&S voucher, a Next Home, John Lewis like just the classic homeware shops I got um stuff for so yeah I thought oh, I'm just gonna buy some home stuff so anyway I got this little body wash I know this is like not technically for a home but I thought I'm gonna save this until we move in and then when we move in I've got like some nice smellies um like in the bathroom so this was one of their what looked quite new scents if that makes sense so they have like their their usual range which is quite I feel like it's quite sweet like they're all pretty sweet scents um but this one was literally there as soon as I walked in I put on a little bit of the hand cream and it just oh it was lovely really really fresh so I picked up the body wash it's not too crazy either i mean you get quite a bit you get like 400 mil and it's 11 quid um which i think was too bad and then i also picked up this this is for when i go to the lady street it's this little mini um body mist which is in arabesque wood it's honestly just gonna spray a little bit oh it's just such a nice smell i absolutely love it so that's my little and the stories haul loved it in there and then i also got a little email when it was around my birthday from space and k like oh you've got a little birthday gift so i put an order in space and k and they sent me this which i thought was quite a nice little touch oh my god so in here there is a little what looks like a face mask yeah one mask soothe five minute flash mask by patchology i'm a sucker for a face mask honestly i absolutely love them and then there's also a sunday riley brightening serum a little mini and then a little gold fadden md wake up call overnight regenerative facial treatment i just oh, i'm a sucker for anything like this i just love skincare very excited to try all of this this was not like gifted or anything by the way i did actually make a purchase to get all this stuff i picked up the drunk elephant whipped cream moisturizer it's pretty expensive but i had five pounds to spend on my like space and care account and then they were doing 20 percent off so i actually got it for 35 quid rather than 50 which is good and it's my favorite favorite moisturizer they've definitely reduced the packaging sides of this by the way don't know if any of you guys are drunk elephant users but if you are um let me know if you've noticed that they've reduced the packaging size. I don't think the actual amount you get is less. I just think they've reduced the packaging size, which is always good. Sorry, my camera just ran out of battery, so I don't actually know where I got to. But when you buy from Space and Care, you get a few little samples to choose from. So I got some shampoo and conditioner from Way, which is for thick hair. And then I also got some bath oil, which is Oliverum, which looks lovely. Oh my God, I'm such a lucky gal, honestly very very happy um i also got some towels which i don't know how interested you're gonna be in towels but um i picked some really really nice towels from m and um i went for teal and navy also my friends kindly got me like a rust towel so i got some face cloths and like a bath mat to go with it because i kind of thought it kind of goes and then like that goes with the navy on its own and that goes with the teal on its own as well so when we have a certain set of towels in the wash the rust kind of color will go with the other that we've got if that makes any sense but yeah some pretty big life changes probably happening pretty soon so i just i just wanted to have a nice couple of hours in town with my mum which i did which was lovely didn't actually end up bringing my vlog camera because it was pretty hot pretty hot in town walking around and we had so many bags and stuff by the end so so yeah i hope you enjoyed that little little haul i thought i would update you on my current book that I'm currently reading. Um, if you're wondering what's in here, um, I am literally super nosy when it comes to on people's vlogs. If I'm watching someone and they've got something in the background that I don't know what it is, I'm like, what is that in the background? I don't know if that lighting looks a bit weird. Let me just undo the blind a little bit. I don't want it to be too bright. 
there we go that's probably about right yeah my my gals my friends really really kindly got me a few bits actually and um, one of which was this which is a gin my favorite gin is slow gin which if you've never tried and you like sweet flavored drinks um try slow gin and lemonade let me know what you think they apparently asked for slow gin and then the people at harvey nicks were like this is really similar and it's called damson gin liqueur i mean it does look similar it's a similar color but apparently this is made from the same berry as, as um slow gin slow berries um so i'll give it a go um, i'm kind of tempted to keep this for when we hopefully move into the house because i want like a little like a cocktail making area or you know like a just a little section of the house which has got nice bottles and stuff so if you're wondering what that was in the background that's what it is yes i thought i would update you on what i'm currently reading this is my current uh book this is called you be mother by meg mason i am maybe a third through i am really enjoying it i'm kind of getting into it more as i go on i love the main character so i'm just like I'm rooting for you girl. It's basically about this girl called Abigail who goes to uni part-time, she's studying social work and she also works in student services at the same time because she's like a bit of a mature student, she's a bit older than the average 18 year old student so she does part-time work and part-time studying and she meets this guy who's over from Australia called Stu? Stuart? Yeah and i don't know why i doubted myself there i'm like looking through and i'm like stick with your gut leah um but yeah she meets Stu, and they end up really really liking each other she's quite quiet and she's not got loads of friends and she's not got loads of family either so she's quite insecure and everything but she really really hits it off with him and um this is not a spoiler by the way i mean the book is called you be mother they end up hitting it off spend like a crazy month or two together and then he moves back to australia and then she finds out she's pregnant with his child again this is not like a crazy spoiler i don't want you to think i've ruined it for you because it's not a spoiler it's the word mother is actually in the title so yeah so she basically falls pregnant and she keeps it and moves to australia when she's in the airport there's this beautiful chapter where she's in the airport and there's like this huge delay in singapore because obviously you stop over if you're traveling to australia from the uk and God, I said that in such a weird tone, like the UK. Anyway, so she stops over in Singapore and there's this huge delay and she's in the queue in a shop with loads of nappies and stuff for her kid and she gets to the till and basically her card gets declined and there's this woman behind her in the queue who pays for, pays for all the stuff and anyway, so then you kind of don't really hear of the woman in the queue for a while and the book follows Abigail and her settling into Australia and it's, it's, I'm smiling because it's funny like it's such a funny book really moving and quite touching topics as you read it and you're like so annoyed at some of the characters but then it's also really funny at the same time then a few chapters in I think it's a few chapters anyway um we meet the person that paid for the stuff for her and it actually follows both of them more so Abigail her being like the main character with with the kid but yeah it's a really really clever it's cleverly written and I'm kind of really intrigued to see where it goes. There's like characters in here that you can kind of relate to and I'm enjoying it a lot. So I think I'm going to take this to the later strip with me. I'm saying that, I'm probably not going to do a lot of reading when I'm there, but I will take it. I've got the best intentions. So yeah, I also, when I bought that, because I got it from Amazon, I picked up... I feel like you guys are always pretty interested in the books that I've bought. Um, I also picked up this one from Amazon, which I did start reading. Oh my god, I actually read quite a bit. I read like 100 pages, um, which is the other of Meg Mason's most well-known books called Sor Sorrow and Bliss. And this has got a lot of good reviews. Couldn't really get into it massively. So I thought I'm going to swap to that because it sort of sounds more up my street. So I'm going to read that and then I'll probably go back to this one. This is another book that I picked up from Asda got a good deal it was like two for eight so i got me and my mum one yeah i've just seen a lot of people talking about this how to kill your family meant to be quite funny and yeah you know like when you've seen a book on so many people's instagrams and you're just like yeah I need, I need to read that myself like i need to have my own opinion on it so yeah these two are on my to read pile but i'm enjoying this at the minute so if you need a little book recommendation i would recommend you be mother hello and good evening it is a fair few days later now actually i lie 
it's over a week later but i've just been sat editing this vlog and i was like oh my god I never even picked up the camera again so anyway it is a thursday evening right now I literally just had a knock at the door and it's a h&m parcel i'm just looking for a h&m logo but they don't actually put h&m logos on the packaging anymore but yeah i ordered a few bits from h&m so i thought i would do a little try on haul there's only four pieces um and i don't know if i'll keep everything but for my birthday they sent like a 25 percent off discount code so i thought i'll order a few bits so i'm going to try on a few bits they're quite like autumnal i got two dresses and then one like co-ord piece where i think i'll probably prefer the blouse but i thought i could do a little haul and then like end end the vlog tonight so yeah i might put a little candle on get all cozy the candle is lit i've got the first dress on this is what it looks like oh my god this is the worst <laughs> the worst camera angle might just be better showing you in the mirror it's so light by the way it's literally like 7 p.m right now and it's so light gosh when we move out honestly we're gonna get the biggest mirror um, and this tiny little mirror will will finally go. But this is what the first dress looks like. It's actually got quite quite some big slits in the side, which I'm thinking won't be the best for autumn because I'm literally, like, I'm not joking, the most pathetic person when it comes to the cold because I, I am just generally a cold person. So the autumn and the winter just kills me off. I need, like, so many layers on. I actually kind of love... Um, sorry, excuse all the mess. <laughs> um, I actually kind of love the sleeves. They kind of slit a little bit like the leg and I kind of love it. Also, I think one thing I do need to be better at is layering like this. Maybe like with a jumper over the top because it is a tiny bit see-through. Like you can kind of see my sports bra and stuff through it. But with like a slouchy oversized jumper over the top, I feel like this might work. I actually went to the office today in a jumper because i was cold this morning i got in the office and people were like are you not a little bit warm and i was like no i'm freezing this was the jumper that i had on i mean it's a little bit of a color clash with this dress i'm not gonna lie but oh you see i kind of love that i know it's a little bit of a color clash but just to give you a little bit of an idea of what it would look like with a jumper on over the top i think i quite like that with like maybe a charcoal grey jumper or something. I'm going to have a little think about this one. I feel like it fits me really nicely and that's such a big thing. And it's also really comfortable. It's good quality. I'm just a little unsure of how I would style it. Because I don't feel like I'd wear it on its own. I feel like I'd always be layering it. Which, I don't know, I feel like it needs to be good on its own. So this is the next dress that I ordered. Again, it's got the two like slits down the side. Which... I mean, I'm kind of warm into it now. It's also got the same, like, cut sleeve. I actually prefer this one a lot. I think it's probably because it's black. <laughs> but it's got this little, like, button detail here, which I just think means I could wear the dress on its own, if that makes sense. But then I could also throw over, like, a jumper. I think it was, like, 20, 25 quid or something. And it feels really nice quality. I feel like this would go with this jumper as well. I feel like my new little thing is to throw a jumper over my shoulders. I just love it. Yeah, this is probably probably going to be a keeper, guys. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. I am literally in love. Look at this cord. I had these um, just hidden behind my mirror, so I've popped these on. And I actually weirdly think they go. The length of these is so long that, like, it kind of covers up the fact that they're black and white. But I... Oh, I love this so much. I mean, it does give me pyjama vibes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And it's a bit of a statement. I think it looks expensive. I'm just going to check on my app how much it was. So the leggings, they call these jersey leggings, were £14.99 and the shirt was £17.99. I mean, the model looks better than me. <laughs> the model always looks better than me, but I, I don't think that's too bad. It's about 30 odd quid for the whole outfit, which... Oh, kind of love it i'm not gonna lie and then i also feel like i could style this shirt blouse with like a skirt or something for work probably gonna take that cream dress at the beginning back because i wasn't like i wasn't in love with it and i feel like i'm at a point now where i'm only keeping clothes that i absolutely love all that make me feel good inside you know i kind of feel like we're transitioning into the autumn vibes now kind of feel like my friends are having their holidays we've not actually got another holiday book this year i think we're just going to concentrate on the house but yeah i feel like my birthday is done everyone's kind of either had their holidays or is just about to have their holiday 
around me. So I'm kind of feeling like everyone's kind of getting ready for autumn and I'm kind of here for it, I'm not going to lie. I'm here for the candles. I'm excited for me and Alex to have our own place, hopefully for winter, and then just get all like cosy and have the candles, have the fire on. There's not actually a fire in the house, but we really want a log burner and that's not just like for the trend like we've always loved like log burners i don't know we love camping where you can like get your own little fire going and have marshmallows not that you can have marshmallows on a log burner but you get my vibe oh i'm so excited i've been talking a lot about the house today i've been in the office and people have kind of been asking me about it so yeah i feel like the more i talk about it the more i'm like just get me in there now um i'm not going to show you guys any pictures of it or anything until i've got those keys in my hand i'm honestly like i don't want to jinx anything I just want those keys in my hand and then I'll be able to give you guys like a house tour. I feel like when we get the house, I'll be back vlogging. Not necessarily full time. Like at one point I was literally vlogging like every single day. I'm talking years ago here, but I feel like maybe like weekly vlogs. I want to show you the house, obviously. Do a little like house tour. It's kind of a renovation project as well because there's a few, <laughs> such a few issues in the house, you know. So I want to yeah i want to film it and do some tiktoks insta like documentation i might set up like a home insta account i'm kind of a little bit arsed with insta at the minute because although i absolutely love it and it's literally one of my favorite apps ever the algorithm just annoys me and the fact that you've got to do reels to have like posts that perform well it's just like you're a photo app guys you need to go back to photos but yeah i, I probably will set up a home instagram account i'm excited for the home content guys i'm not gonna lie but yeah there's, there's quite a lot of work to do before we get to that point so i don't want to get too excited but anyway back to um back to the vlog thank you so much for watching i'm gonna finish this vlog here i feel like that like little end clip that was meant to finish the vlog has actually gone on for about 20 minutes so i apologize if you've got bored <laughs> but um yeah thank you so so much for watching probably won't be too many vlogs from me between now and hopefully get in the house. Um, I just wanna do a book recommendation video, which is why I've got a few more books piled up here because I am gonna do a little like book roundup video. Um, I promised that when I stopped doing Page Turner's book club that I would do like reviews all the time, which I do have reviews upon my Instagram, but I don't really have too many on here because I've not filmed a video in like six months about books. So yeah, I wanna do a book recommendations video and then hopefully it'll be on with the moving vlogs. Thank you so, so much for watching and supporting as always. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already, even though I guess most of you will be subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you very, very soon. Have a lovely day, evening, whatever time you're watching this and I'll see you very soon.